Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel Hilo Pharmacology. In today's session, let us learn about a very important high yielding pharmacology topic that you can expect in your upcoming NEET or NSCT or FMG or in your second year final examinations. So let us learn about the phases of clinical trials. So there are mainly four phases of clinical trials you need to understand. But one thing you should remember, there is also a phase zero clinical trial. So what do you understand by phase zero clinical trial? So what happens in case of phase zero clinical trial is, so you will take the one tenth of the dose which will be tested in the phase one clinical trial. So you're going to test only the one tenth, only small quantity of the drug will be uh, uh, taken for testing the pharmacokinetic profile of that particular new drug. So if the pharmacokinetic parameters are in favor, you're going to take this drug further into the phase one. So if it is not favorable, so what you can do, you'll stop the drug investigation. So thereby you can save the manpower as well as the money from wasting. So if the pharmacokinetic parameters are in favor of the drug, then phase zero microdosing study will be taken further into the phase one clinical trial where you will going to test the new drug on the humans. So humans volunteer will be there, the normal human volunteer. So phase one is called as human pharmacology and safety study. You're going to check for the ceiling dose. You'll, you're going to check for the dose at which there will be safety. Safety of the drug will be known. So once the safety is established, then the same drug will be taken up to the phase two where you're going to have a therapeutic exploration. So exploration in a small group of patient. So phase one was on the healthy volunteers. Phase two is in the patient, small group of patient. But once the therapeutic exploration is established, it will be taken up for further into the phase three where there will be multicentric trials. Large group of uh, patients will be involved and it is therapeutic confirmatory. So once the therapeutic exploratory is done, phase three will going to confirm the therapeutic efficacy of the drug in a larger population, in a larger setting, in a completely double-blinded setup. So once phase three is over, so it, it will be taken up for phase four that is in the marketing stage. So where you're going to uh, uh, see for the post-marketing survival and see whether any adverse drug reaction can occur, any other benefits are there, any other indications exist, what are the uh, pharmacodynamic, pharmacokinetic parameters in re with respect to the uh, the children's, with respect to the pregnant women's, with respect to the elderly population. So this will be done in a larger population, larger population. Phase four is also called as a pharmacovigilance. So two things you should remember here is when do you apply for investigational new drug? So investigational new drug will be applied prior to the phase one, prior to the phase one. So when do you going to apply for new drug application? New drug application will be applied after phase three clinical trial, that is before the phase four clinical trial. So this was all about the clinical trial phases. Please go through this topic just before going to your exams. So very, very high yielding topic. You can expect one question from this topic or if you are writing a, 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 a three mass question or a short answer also this table will going to help you in terms of remembering the whole phases of the clinical trial so if you find this video useful please do subscribe to my channel i love pharmacology for more updates on pharmacology thank you